what are sort of the, the top line challenges you face with plagiarism? As far as challenges, I don't think that our journals are different from most of the basic science journals. I think we were looking for this system probably for legal reasons more than anything else, and just because um, it's always been a goal to publish original material, but we didn't have the tools until now to screen for that kind of thing. So it, it meets a need that has been important to us for a long time. We found that author reuse of their own material is the most common issue. We're glad that we've begun using it uh, just because it does meet this really important scientific and legal need where in the past we've just had to take people's word for it or rely on reviewers or even readers to let us know when there were problems. You all were one of the first uh, organizations to uh, implement the idea of featuring the logo on, uh, on the journal itself. Is that, is that something you've, you chose to do because you wanted to make it very clear from the outset that, that this was a priority? We tell our authors on the submission page that we use this service. We, we wanted authors to know that we do this. We didn't want this to come as a surprise that we were checking for plagiarism. And we've always asked authors to confirm that they haven't plagiarized. But um, sometimes it does happen. And we want to let them know that now we have a tool for checking this kind of thing because we don't want to get plagiarized papers. So we, we were hoping that it would be a service to the authors to let them know um, that we're using this tool uh, to add a degree of credibility to our own journal that, yes, we are checking for this kind of thing. Is there anything that you've learned organizationally to make it flow better or make it be less work, make it easier, or make it anything that makes it harder? Since we're checking for this plagiarism up front, it does help us hopefully to avoid the time-consuming problems that might have occurred if authors um, were not aware that we're checking or if a problem surfaced after publication. Um, we don't know, of course, what would have happened without Authenticate, and we've detected a little bit less plagiarism than expected. Um, but of course, checking in the beginning uh, means that we don't have to spend the time to check later. And in terms of how we've actually implemented it, in the beginning, we, we were thinking a lot about cost. And so we didn't want to screen a bunch of papers that we were just going to reject later on for different reasons. And so at first, we began screening papers at acceptance. Um, of course, then what we found is that uh, the plagiarism wasn't always as blatant as you might think. It wasn't that the whole paper had issues. It might be that there was a part of it that needed something rewritten. And so rather than the paper just being a case of, yes, it's okay to accept or reject, uh, what we actually need is just to request revisions and rewriting of a certain section or maybe credit being given to the original source. So it didn't seem like an appropriate place to check at the end of the process. We sort of progressively moved it closer and closer to the beginning. Papers that get through the first review without getting rejected are very often accepted. The rejection usually happens on version one of a paper. And so we started checking on version two, but then we began to get complaints from authors who were saying, you know, you're asking for these big changes now. I wish you'd ask them on the first version um, because now you're asking for something completely different. So um, since we found that uh, the problem seemed to come most with review type papers, we've moved them, focused to them a little bit more. And so we've begun checking a lot of review papers at the beginning of the process. Um, we found pretty particular ways in our workflow to do that after a lot of papers have been rejected so we can minimize the number of unnecessary screenings. So it's it's been a it's been quite a process. We've gotten to know our workflow a lot better the more we think about this and we can figure out the best way for us to check and let authors know as early as possible without adding too much expense to our own organization.